I'm at Russ Hankey's Subakto Karate Studio, where we're going to take a look at a type of martial arts that's been around for over 1,700 years. I sat down with 8th Degree Black Belt and internationally certified master, Russ Hankey, to talk about his studies and his techniques in Supacto. I've been studying for 48 years. I started in 1960. Right down the street, there used to be a YMCA. And I uh, went down there and joined because I was the runt in my gang. My original instructor, who is uh, Dale Drulard, uh, he was the very first non-Korean ever promoted to the black belt. In 1963, he took ill, and so I, being one of the senior members, took over the studio for him, and here I am. Over the years, Russ Hankey has taught at numerous places, including franchise schools, various YMCA's, and even police departments have seeked his expertise in martial arts. Now his home is in Wyandotte. I've uh, been at this location for about a little bit better in 20 years now. Uh, student membership uh, fluctuates depending on the time of the year. Uh, right now I have about 45 to 50 students that are active. Gone through thousands and thousands of course over the years. Nowadays the majority of the student body are children. In the last five years it's kids 10 and under. Students at Russ Hankey's Subakto College work hand in hand to perfect their skills and techniques. With no contact allowed in Subakto, self-control is very important. It prepares you for what we call free sparring or the tournament fighting, and that's where we don't know what we're going to do, we just do it, but uh, our, our style uh, our, is dead set against contact fighting. We believe contact fighting is injurious to the body, and also, especially uh, with the children in that, if you reward them for hitting people, you make bullies and you give them the, the impregnated in their mind that it's okay to hit somebody. Senior students prepare for tests and competition by breaking boards and practicing the skills they need to accomplish success. In martial arts, discipline and respect are a very important part of a student's training. Not only is it great for the body and spirit, it teaches discipline, self-control, and it's a great form of exercise for all ages. I'm Rudy Wood for Specs Howard School of Broadcast Art. Supak!